Gaffer, before we get started on the, the players that are here, and two of our lone players, George Hobbery and Emmanuel Alessandri, both scoring for their, for their lone clubs, you must be delighted to see them start so quickly. Yeah, absolutely. It was great news the other night. We were out uh, watching another game and um, just checking on Twitter, uh, noticed the scores and that they were goal scorers. So really good, really good feedback from uh, both clubs as well about the performances and flying start. It uh, certainly makes makes us proud that two of our young lads have gone out and done well. And Mills as well. He went out and won. He's already played his first first game for the for Ultram. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe put in a really solid performance. So it, it was it was good for Miles. Hadn't played for a while um, to go out and get games and big games as well. You know they've got some uh, good sides that Ultram are playing against, and they've been on a good run themselves. So uh, a good team for Miles to go to right now. Yeah, and of course a game against Games we get called off with a frozen pitch. How have we been keeping the fitness levels high, the lads? Yeah, yeah, it's been quite demanding this week. Um, they had a, a day off yesterday, uh, but they needed it um, because uh, Monday and Tuesday was was demanding. Um, but yeah, fitness is going to be key, and it was good to see so many bodies out there actually training. A bit of frustration in the fact that we had picked up such a good result against Stevenage and we weren't able to build on that straight away in the next game. Yeah, of course. You know, we really wanted the game to go ahead, and um, we were chomping at the bit to be honest. But uh, hopefully, we'll have you know everybody fit for when we do actually go to Bundle Park and, uh, and play the game. And Sutton United, a team that we're, we're very familiar with, no, t no easy games against them in a very demanding position in terms of the performance needed to take them out on top, so what do you expect from that game, obviously? Much the same again? Yeah, that, that's right. I mean, I, I think Sutton are a very underrated team, you know, at this level, um, and whenever they've had a a disappointing couple of games have always bounced back with a vengeance and um, yeah they're a the strong physical team but also uh, underrated in terms of the football ability in the, in the final third so they've got a lot of pace uh, and energy in the lineup. And we've added a, a couple of new bodies in, in this window in terms of recruits and defence. Um, is that something that the, the fact we've had longer training together has helped them bond and then sort of blend them with the team a bit better? Yeah. Yeah, it seems that. Yeah, I think um, hours spent together um, often does that forge forges that spirit that we we obviously want. You know, it's important to us. Um, but they've integrated really comfortably. Yeah. Yeah, and the window is drawing to a close. But are we expecting any more business to happen between now and then? The uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps one outside two. Uh, it's not as bedlam as last time when there's four on the final day, uh, which is good. Um, but uh, the additions of all trained well so far and, and uh, added a lot to the group. Is that a testament to the work the people behind the scenes have done here at the club to, make, to get the bodies done so quickly and have the squad ready before we get to the deadline days? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Lloyd being full-time head of recruitment has really helped and his scouting team, without a doubt, to, to prep it all up uh, before actually the window opened. Um, and then things drop in, into place and uh, we're delighted that we've got a bit more physicality about the squad and a bit more strength and depth.